everybody, welcome back, Jeff again, Minecraft server, and continuing on with the brewing station, which I'm so excited actually like works. And yes, Firenith, I did actually just go back and watch your video, which does this without pistons, and I like it. Um, it's good, thank you for that. It actually got dumped into my spam folder, which is why I didn't see it before. But I think I'm going to stick with this design just because I, I love the fact that it uses like ridiculous sand. But what are we going to do from here? What I need to do is make my modifier section available. And then I'm probably going to move this entire thing or at least parts of it with a hopper chain or whatnot. So it's here. I'm not sure if I'm going to have the brewing stand actually sticking out anymore like I was talking about or if I'm just going to have a chest sticking out, which will involve having to make a clock at some point that deals with a lot of this stuff too and blah, blah, blah. There's other things that are going to have to, to happen with this thing. But for now, am I using the wrong pick? I am using the silk touch pick, which I don't need to be using. So this needs to stay here. So in order to make this thing have other choices, let me show you guys what the plan is. So this wall might have to get, I might have to dig out a portion of this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, there's at least four modifiers I want to be able to use. One, two, three, four. Uh, so one is going to be redstone, one is going to be glowstone, and grant, yes, I know it's supposed to be, you know, glowstone dust, but I don't want to break this yet until I go get more, because I have very, very, very little glowstone. Uh, one is going to be gunpowder for, for splash potions, and the other one is going to be spider eyes. And yes, again, I know that it's supposed to be fermented spider eyes, this is just for visuals. Now, when I do this, I basically need oops just clicking all over the place need to have these are going to be on levers because it's going to be an on or an off it's not going to be a button so whatever's on it's going to send out the signal for this when it's off it's not going to to send out the signal for this obviously now i do need to do some digging making this area bigger to work with so i will do that off camera and come back to you guys when i have a bigger area all right, everybody, I've done some clearing, and we might run into a space constraint because this is, like, outside. <laughs> Outside's, like, right through there, and we're going to try to make this work anyway. Uh, and if you guys are here for a tutorial because this is going to work perfectly the first time, you're in. You're at watching the wrong channel. I like to do things as I learn with you guys, or you guys learn with me, or usually I learn more from you guys. So what I'm going to do is be doing experimentation to see if my concept in my head will allow my modifiers to work like I want them to. And hopefully that's what you guys are in this for as well. So that being the case, I'm going to leave a block here. Oh, I got I grabbed a lot of gravel when I just dug that out as well since I was out of gravel in the last episode. So, I'm going to I don't even know if I want these directly next to each other. But these these are my these are my modifiers here. So, they're separated from the main ingredients of the potion. They're going to go into the same exact hopper line. I could theoretically save a hopper by putting them next to each other, but I'm just doing it this way because this is the way I want to visually keep things separated. So pretty much, I should be getting a redstone signal out of these little guys. Uh, repeaters, repeaters, repeaters. I think every other one I should be okay with. And then we'll make sure that this actually works. So boom, got the signal, boom, got the signal, boom, got the signal, boom, boom. Got this. Got the signal. Okay. I thought I was one off for a second. So that's perfect. That's the way I want it. So let's start with the redstone line. How do we make this thing work? Well, basically, it needs to go to an AND gate that is mixed with the button press over here. Now, that's kind of annoying because it's kind of a far stretch, but that's okay. We can make this work. So right now, this button press goes two different directions and essentially, actually, you know what? The same button press, it's all the way over here. If we can build this thing over here, cause I'll need the signal, the AND gate signal for all of these. So what I need to do is 
I'd assume put a repeater on here. I don't I don't know how far this will actually go. Was it 15 blocks? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's just put it here for... So we know that we have the extended signal from the button is pulsing over this direction. And I need to set up essentially four AND gates. And what is my best solution for having four AND gates set up? And that, my friend, is a good question. Can I do... Vertical tiled AND gates with the same signal in very easy of a way. So let's let's try this because I'm actually curious about about this. If I had like a row of AND gates coming in here, because this would actually save a lot of potential problems. Let me remember exactly how to build an AND gate as well. We're gonna do my gates out of wood. Just because I want to. If I had an AND gate, I believe, is like this. So if this is my first layer for the AND gate, I believe the AND gate would go like one, two, three, my output line should be here in the middle output there should be inputs on both sides i think it's like this and then inputs on both sides of this should give me the signal even though obviously that is not correct what am i what am i missing i have an and gate up in the corner here oh that's right oh no no i'm sorry it's not right it's these are not redstone. These are redstone torches. There we go. There we go. So then when I do something like... What do I have? I have one of these and a button. So we'll see. Like this would be essentially saying, boom, that's my signal over there is on. And then this is simulating the button press right here. Yeah, there we go. So that's exactly what I want this to do. Now the question is, can I tile this thing? Because if I do this, it'll be inverted. Is there any way to tile it? Oops. Um, if I were to... Let me, let me see something here. I should go get an axe if I'm going to be using this wood. Because I'm curious... If I went like this... Somehow... And this came off of the front instead. That wouldn't actually help. So I can tile it, but I would have to go left and right. Wait, that didn't make any sense that I said. I can tile it, however, I can do two at a time. You know what? Let's do, I'm going to go get an axe real quick. I think I'm going to have stacked too high because it's going to get pretty tall if I tile all four of them straight on top of each other. Okay, so essentially what this is supposed to be is... Where's my redstone? Okay, there we go. So that is my AND gates set up. And if I were to... Oh, I brought the signal in on the wrong side. Obviously the best, the best thing to do here would be to... Pull this signal directly into, into there. So I'm assuming that this will click. If I were to simulate a button press on this. Oh, these are off. I wouldn't do anything. Um, let me make myself some more 
some more levers just for testing purposes. If I were to put this lever here, turn it on, this lever here, turn it on. Simulating a button press here should actually run both of these. So that does work. That does work. Okay. Um, conceptually, we're good. Making this actually go out is part of the other problem. So that essentially is going to do the same thing. All the all these should, in theory, work well. And I need to repeater. Repeater there. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So, so we'll just we'll just work with this one for now. We need the signal that I have coming in here. We need to split them in such a way so that one of them's obviously going to... I want you to be way over here. It does suck that it's going to be kind of like needing a lot of repeaters. You're going to snake the wall. We'll get your repeaters in there at some point soon. And... You are going to go toward this lower guy. So I actually probably want you here. I can't do that, can I? Oh, yeah, have you come into the side? Yeah, you can come right into the side. You don't need to come into, into the front end of this. There we go. And just for efficiency's sake, we'll do that. So that'll be one. The next one coming in... Oh, that's interesting. Because it still lights it up. I want you to kind of be... You still need to go to the far... The far way, but you need to be... There we go. Two down. This is like a space conversation. Conversation? Conservation that I'm dealing with right now. I actually probably should make that one go up, and this one should stay down. So we're, we're going to do okay, that. Okay, we are back. Speed. I think I figured it out. Basically, I dropped down every other one so it triggers from underneath. And so I turn this one on. It triggers underneath, gets a repeater. Then I can get it down a layer. So these are kind of... I could have made this one even next to it. I didn't need to do what I did. But these two come out. They are working separately. It looks like this one connects into here, but it does not, which is good. I have the redstone one now going up to the top and directly into this block. I have the other one on the top going up into here. And then I have the other two that I have going down below triggering into here. Granted, they don't work right now because I need some repeaters along the way. So let's find out the signal strength I will need to get the repeaters going. So I turn all of these on. This one's going to die right there. So I think if I put a repeater, yep, we're good. Got that torch turned off. This one makes it all the way, so that works out great. This one does not. I know that for a fact, but I got to find out where along the line. Actually, if I just do that, it should be okay. On. That one works. This one works. That one did not quite make it. I might have accidentally disconnected this one, actually, when I was doing digging. I did. I did. So that's my problem here. There we go. So now this one is also on. This one I missed because I needed to have one more forward before it went down. Yeah, shouldn't connect into anything else. Okay, all these left torches, these AND gates are all now, let's take this off so it doesn't screw everything up. The AND gates are now powered on one side of the AND gate on each one of these. Let's make sure these individually work out as well. So if I just have one of them on, you can see the back one powered. That one works fine. It does not interfere with anything else. Glowstone. It's when the torch is off too. That one is fine with the glowstone. 
gunpowder. That one is fine. A lot more redstone than I thought it was going to take for this, but... And then spider eye modifier. That one is fine. Perfect. So these things are all actually created and signals going to the end gate. Now, the next tough part is I do need to get this thing connected to all of these. I know that this is going to work right there. The question is, how did I make it work? Did I literally just put a repeater here and it worked like that? Is that what actually signaled? Do the test. We'll find out. I don't even see. Yep, that one. That side works. That side works. So that's all I need to get these things to work. Oh, whoops. I just don't want it to... God damn it. There we go. I just want to make sure I can get my signals out of the middle is my concern when doing this now. Because I could have just dragged it out to the side, which I can no longer do. I do need to do something and get this thing arranged because I need to get the signals going over this direction. Top ones are going to be fine because literally I, I'm going to put this here. Let's see what we can do with, with this one. I mean, this... Yeah, that is literally the easiest thing for that. That's one of them. This one I think I can do similar. Something like this. That should, in theory, work. These bottom ones. What if... Oh, this might, this might work beautifully. Because it's going to... Oh, no, because it's pulling from that sig signal. And I don't want it to pull from that signal. Okay. Okay. What can I do? I am going to have to dig these down underneath somehow. So we'll deal with that in a minute, though. Let's... Well, obviously, I don't want that there. Boom. That's. I might need to do some double like repeater action to make this not not connect on through. I did like. I think for the if I went something like this, that should work. I do need a double repeater here. I don't like having to waste repeaters like that, but, you know, what are you going to do? It's not really that big of a deal. And let's see. If I were to bring this one out here, this one can go off to the side and go... I don't want it to meet until it's got the double repeater part of where it needs to go. That's three. <laughs> oh, come on. This is going to be, this is going to play hell on me. I need to do this. Get rid of these. I can't connect those because they will, they will connect into each other. Those won't connect on through. Oh, no. These don't tell me this is going to end in. And craziness. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This one's fine. I, in theory, can just power the block below her, right? Actually. Do another, like, piston thing that goes up and ticks through. Hell, you know what I just realized? I made this way harder on myself because I could have just extended this pulse line. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I can just extend this pulse line of pistons.
and just also have, oh my God. Hold on guys, I will be right back. Well, okay, everybody, I'm back, and I've basically torn down everything I've done this episode and restarted over in a much, much, much simpler way. So let's just see what we have here. We still have the same old, like, lines coming out, but instead of them going to and gates, they just go directly to power one of these sand blocks as it's going to pop up because of, you know, the whole piston thing when I hit the button and everything like that, because that's what it already does, which essentially makes the and gate for me. And... Then when these things pop up, it will trigger the piston just like it does over here. But now we just got to make sure we get the right uh, the right signal strength. Since, excuse me, I just went through and redid it all and make sure they don't cross paths. So let's turn, that's everything off. On. So everything is now on. Though I kind of want up to be on. Uh, one of them makes it through. Oh crap, I fell down. This one makes it through, which I'm shocked that that one made it through. Oh, I got I do have a repeater there already. Okay, so that one makes it through with the repeater. This one does not quite make it. Oh, no, it does actually. This one makes it through, but it might not have enough to actually power this piston. If I can move this repeater up and still be okay, I would be extremely happy to save myself a repeater. Nope, that is literally the limits of it. Um, I, in theory, could have moved that whole thing. Uh, we will find out if this thing is going to trigger this piston or not. But it may or may not. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're pushing it. Actually, I don't have anything anymore, do I? Oh, I forgot to put the... Uh... Well, let's find out. I guess that's easy. Yep, it does. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So that one will fire. That one. This one works fine. So these other two I just need to add some repeater lines into. And this one obviously makes it all the way up here. I don't know if I want to keep the repeaters way up here though. But you know what? Uh, since we know that'll go through, that'll turn on. And then this one we lose right about here. So let's... So let's do that. And in theory, I can't believe I didn't think about that before. It's a lot harder to move around in here. And it's not pretty, but I mean, what are you going to do? Okay, only the one is powered. I'm trying to make sure that all these lines aren't crossing. And then I've got to power up my... I don't know why I did that. I could do an inverted signal so the up is actually on. But whatever. Okay, one. Okay, good. I think we're good. I think we're good, even though I'm not going to check them all. We are solid. So, what does that mean I got to do next? I have to extend this pulse without destroying this area that I already have. So, because I, I put the pistons down already. Okay, we should be good like that. And if every other one of these... I think I'm going to need a repeater, I'm pretty sure, right here. Which is fine. This this extra spot actually will work very well if that's the case. And then I can go like this and like this. I mean, and that's all, that, in theory, is all there is to it. So, how do we test this baby to see if it works? we got to get all the stuff that I have waiting in line out of here. Oh, because the carrot doesn't actually go down through. So, let's take a look. Redstone was fully on the left. I can't believe I'm so so dumb sometimes. Redstone, and then it was glowstone, which I don't have any glowstone, but I will pop these into there for testing. And then it was gunpowder and then spider eyes. I believe this is the order that these are in. I do need some more hoppers just to test. Which means I think I have to make some more hoppers. Fine, I need five more hoppers. It sucks, I'm wasting a lot of... I could just borrow some from there. But whatever. This video, I'm sure, is running extremely long, but it's because I'm... I'm learning. 
I don't know, I like doing this redstone stuff. It's fun, and it's, like I said, it feels good when you accomplish something. So my episodes end up going really long. I need to go get more resources real soon. So there's my hoppers. And pretty much we need to go like that. So what I'm thinking is if I turn this to whatever, to puffer fish and redstone is on, what I should end up with is a nether wart, a puffer fish, Followed by a redstone. Puffer fish. Oh my god. Nether wart. Puffer fish. Redstone. That is amazing. Um, let's do glowstone. Come on, baby. There it is! It takes a little bit of time, but which doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, how long it takes. Gunpowder. Let me get my nether ward out of here as well. Pufferfish. Gunpowder. Now, the interesting thing about this is going to be... And then spider eye. I didn't take the nether ward out there, but that's fine. Pufferfish. Spider, oh my god. The interesting thing about this is I can select multiple of these and they're going to go out in random orders like spider eye, glowstone, redstone. I don't know how much of a problem that's going to cause because you in theory shouldn't be doing glowstone or redstone. It's going to switch their potions back and forth. I need to make sure I have a sign. I kind of wish now that I had a... Uh put these on the on the top so you could turn it on toward the thing or not so I could put a sign that said you know on or off I could switch the order of these for sure I'd have to go through and redo a little bit of what's going on in here and actually yeah my my symbols wouldn't work anymore I kind of want the up to be on but that being the case I'm I'm ecstatic. I spent a whole episode trying to make ridiculous NAND gates, or AND gates, and then I realized I didn't have to do that at all. I essentially already have my AND gates created for me. So, but here we go. Here is basically the base ingredients for potions. We'll all go in here. These are literally an area where all I need to do is get, uh, or my modifier area, and it seems to work. And granted, like I said, it's not real glowstone, and this is not real spider eye because it's supposed to be something else. The concept works. So... Thank you for the people with the suggestion of the sand and the gravel because I really like this concept. It makes this thing very expandable, which I'm very happy with. Uh, the next order of business for this is going to be, for one, moving it to exactly how I want it to be. Maybe rearranging these buttons so that up and down work in uh, different aspects or putting somehow like glowstone lamps above to say if it's on or off that you, you have it set to right now. That would also be something that would be pretty cool. Um... Hell, in that case, I could change these out maybe to push buttons, like an on and an off toggle, so that you could just have the light on the top of it to show which one's on or off. I don't know. There's lots of possibilities for this, but I am I like the way that this went. I really do. Uh, so this whole wall turned into my potion wall, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but I think it gives it a cool aesthetic look. I will take this away, and yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.